Working on privatization has been one of CUPE's top priorities since day one, and the National Contracting Out and Privatization Coordinating Committee helps lead this fight. We have stepped up our work over the past two years because we know public works best for workers, communities, and our country. We mapped and tracked trends about public sector successes and privatization failures. This work makes us stronger and more prepared for the fights ahead. We helped develop and promote new tools for our members to take on privatization, like the back-in-house report about contracting in municipal services. We raised awareness about the dangers of pension funds investing in privatization. And we worked to spread the word about new threats like social impact bonds, asset recycling, and the Canada Infrastructure Bank. Because no matter what they call privatization, we know it costs us more and delivers less. We strengthened our lobbying and campaigning skills to fight privatization and dangerous trade deals like CETA. Because when we engage our members and organize in coalition, we have what it takes to protect public services and stop privatization. We've celebrated some big wins, and we're mobilizing for the fights ahead. There's strength in numbers. As workers and as members of our communities, we will keep building closer connections within our union and we'll continue to deepen our links with other unions, community groups, and members of the public. Together, we have the power to take back privatized services and infrastructure and stop the spread of privatization in our communities. For more on our work, read the full report in your kits.